everyone, this is Melissa from The Exciters. I've been seeing these guys play live for more years than I care to mention. And the other night in Agora Hills at the Canyon Club, Ryan Salazar, Kevin Cadigan, and Tony Friedinelli granted The Exciters an exclusive interview, and I was lucky enough to sit down and talk about the past, present, and future of XCB. Hey, Exciters! We love you guys. Thank you all so much for supporting us. Thank you very much for sitting down with the Exciters. Uh, the fans want to know and are clamoring to know a few things here at the end of the tour that we've, we're all waiting for like 20 years for. So question number one is, now that we are end, at the end of the road, how do you guys feel like the tour has gone? I think it's been just absolutely incredible. Like just so much fun reconnecting with people that haven't seen me play the songs and people that have and seen generational uh, you know, people with their kids. It's, it's been unreal for me. Very emotional at times, actually. But, yeah. yeah, for sure. No, it, it was, like, super emotional. Um, some, some, some people, I mean, yeah, like, what he said was exactly sort of... God. People wept, people cried. Yeah, people no, got like, pregnant. I know it's, it sounds healthy, <laughs> but... Someone got pregnant, though. <laughs> yeah, no. for, really, though, like, it's, there were some super heavy moments, like, people shaking. It was great. Honestly, like I was saying on stage, to have you get it, the guy's hands on his songs, it has a special thing to it. I think that was really cool. That's him cool. Playing a song. But like fans have been really supportive. Like the one thing I felt for sure is like I'm um, going around to these weird cities, like not weird, different cities, and um, it's a little weird though. And <laughs> you just feel like an, an incredible amount of support from people, you know, like um, so. Thanks for that. Yeah. Thank you. Actually. Everywhere we yeah, went, like, pe people were incredibly cool. So, obviously the fan reaction has been very good and positive. What has been the overall general fan reaction to the tour, particularly from fans who may not have been able or fortunate enough to see the original lineup? What's been the what? The <laughs> What's been the reaction from the, the fans? Reaction? Well, yes. yeah. I mean, There's been a few of those, for sure, and everybody seemed to love it, so... Pretty cool. It's been really positive, but yeah, buzz out there. Positive. Yeah, because yeah, we haven't been out. We're not out there trying to slag on Steven or anything like. There's none of that. Steven's doing his thing. And I, we're all yeah, keeping music. it positive, I mean, which is great. Yeah, cool. yeah, that's actually huge. That's important. So there is a, a feeling out there on the internet that the tour may just be a one-time thing to celebrate the anniversary of the self-titled debut, and they might never get to see XCB again. Hmm. What is your response to that? You guys will have a ton of momentum to your advantage, and what are the goals and priorities for the band once you get off of the road for the next six months and a year out from there? Well, I'll say, you know, it, it started off as that because we didn't have too many expectations. I just, you know, I did that guitar player podcast interview, and then Ryan wrote me a nice note, and we got together, and we did a couple just low-key shows, and then um, Tony saw a video of those and then contacted me, and it all just kind of bloomed from there. And the idea wasn't, it was just, it was a very, come from, we all, it came from a very humble place. So we just want to go and, you know, and maybe, you know, get together and play that music. I heard Tony, he sang to me background on the phone. And it was just like, it was great. He did an amazing job. So I thought, well, this could really work. And so we got together and lo and behold, you know, things just started falling in place as we went along. And, um, and now we have plans to record over the summer so these are things that we haven't it's like an exclusive <laughs> for the exciters but there are plans to record an album and a there full are plans, album or full album full album and will those songs be written by all three band members yeah all Who's three the point person on the lyrics give us some little dirt you know it's <laughs> going to be it's going to be a, a beatles type situation because we're the, just that good frankly is there going to be one point person on certain aspects of that, like the lyrics, and then you guys are all well, going to do your separate we're thing? We're going to get together and, and, and make, you know, there's going to be quality control. Yeah, we'll figure it out as we go along. But, but uh, no, for the, sure. The exciting news is that Orion's going to sing them. So Finally. I'm, I'm yeah. super excited. So, so <laughs> that's going to be amazing. Yeah. And you guys have, I mean, this guy's got a great voice. Yeah, so he does. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, so shucks. a lot of collaboration as well. Shucks. Well, that's what's no, all no, about. for real, though. Like, for real, yeah. yeah. Like, collaboration let everyone you know everyone living up to their own full potential that's what this is all about this isn't a band where there's just going to be 
you know, uh, about uh, someone dictating everything. We're, we're actually a partnership. We're doing this as a real, organic band. Yeah, that's one of the great beauties of this, is everything's right out, and we did everything right away, right? Everybody's right out in front, we did our business, we were like, every, the way you should do things, mm -hmm. not yeah. the incorrect way, and I'm not... Well, and most importantly, just creatively, you know, this is just, it's going to be something that I think it's going to going to really work, you know, and I think it translates when you see people, all three, kind of standing up there, you know? And, uh, it's what right we all want stage. desperately, so it's good to hear that. What will, if anything, Javier's contribution be? And we have to ask this because the fans are super attached Don't to Javier. Don't worry about Javier. him, he's cut. <laughs> Javier, can you hear me right now? Javier's good. Yeah, he'll Javier! Be there. <laughs> okay, he's not. Javier, that guy. Uh, yeah, Don't worry. <laughs> Javier's been amazing. amazing. I mean, he could be yeah, as involved huge. as he wants to be, really. I mean, That's fantastic. Yeah, he's, he's been very smart to, to sort of, like, stay <laughs> he's outside because he makes, he makes, you know, more money, frankly, not being a partner with him. But, um, but that's kind of, we think it's kind of funny, though, because he's, so, he's, so, he's so coy and he's like, hey, Javier's man. great. We I love, love Javier. Javier. We love, love Javier. Javier. We love having Javier around. And, um, the fans we're love gonna him. Have him and he's, Isn't he been, awesome? He's yeah, been no. stellar on that. He's just killer. He's yeah. super killer. He'll be on. He'll be on the tracks for he's, sure. For playing drums. Yeah, we're gonna have him play no drums. Question, like, yeah. Is there any plans for a studio version of Gorgeous or the Light That Hits the Room, or maybe Invisible, on this album? I think definitely Is Light That Hits the Room. I think definitely in, Invisible, and we'll see about Gorgeous. Yeah. Orion, are there any songs you demoed in 3B that we haven't heard or that may not have seen the light of day with the XCB and, and could potentially become a song that we would see with them, either in a live setting or a studio recording? Um, yeah, there's probably a few songs you haven't heard, or I, I don't know, maybe somebody has. I haven't, I haven't thrown any songs out to these guys at all, so... so uh, you know, it's stuff. very <laughs> under wraps, yeah. <laughs> nice. No, I mean, yeah. <laughs> But like, there's there's some songs out there. I think there are there's some stuff on like demos on YouTube that you might have heard that that are my songs that I wrote the music for. And um, it's also doing I, a lot of new stuff. That yeah, I, I actually probably do like newer stuff. I have more stuff that's more recent. Super prolific. When going to talk about new songs, do you guys have you have an idea of the collaboration? Do you have an idea of what the sound is going to be like? What you guys want to create together? Do you want it to be in the vein of the first albums, or do you want to go and do something totally off the hook new that we aren't going to be expecting? That's an interesting question. Uh, I think it'll be more in in the in the vein of the new of the first debut album record. <clears throat> I think you know we're actually going to be working with if if this pans out, which uh, we hope it does, with um, people that were uh, associated with production on the first record, actually. Um, I'm not going to ask anything more about that, but it'll be very exciting. Sounds very exciting. I think we're, aren't we are kind of, we're dedicated to the idea that we're not going to beat songs to death and maybe go take a process that goes on and on forever, right? That we're just yeah. going to keep it nice and fresh. Yeah, well, we'll have Organic. to because we won't have a lot of time, but right. that's how that's how great Blue just happened like, boom, we didn't have a lot of time with Blue, and then it yeah. just happened. So I work best under pressure. I think this guy works great under pressure. I know he works great under pressure. Yeah. Ryan works amazing <laughs> under pressure. Look at him, he's under the pressure. He's under the pressure. Speaking of Blue, <laughs> fans on the 3B pages are all asking the same question. Besides the new material, would you ever do a tour like this for Blue or out of the vein anniversaries or at least see some of that music on future tours with we hope, your new material? Yeah, we hope so. I mean, this has been a process right now of educating people about what we're doing, and I think that uh, that 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 would absolutely if if this continues and it we hope it does, um, and it should, we will absolutely do a blue album thing. That would be a lot of fun. Kevin and Orion, when you both ran into each other back in the day at the DMV, what would you say to someone who told you that six years later you'd be in a band with Tony touring on self-titled debut album? <laughs> Crazy. <clears throat> yeah, it's super bizarre, right? Yeah. I don't know. Why not? Right? I mean... Exactly. Like, why well, not? I, we of, never really... We, none, none of these, we never had any problems, really. No, I mean, there wasn't actually... Tony, yeah, I mean, there wasn't... I'm not saying that. It's just a... I know, but... It's just a... 
been a long time and, and we all know what the history is and it, it's it's awesome it's so awesome and the fans love it yeah. so much well again I mean I, I, I really didn't know Tony could could nail the vocals on the first album Perfectly. like he can yeah. can do but it's just I mean I there was a process where I had to sort of be educated on that and and, and it's just it's incredible I mean it sounds this guy sounds amazing absolutely that brings me to something I was saying earlier off off the record um, and bringing it on right. having seen you in all the incarnations from back in the day to uh, Tony with the band to the annex last year and even at Slim's your first show one of your first shows together and I tell you guys it was an amazing show at Slim's and I loved it and Ted and Eric from the Exciters saw South Dakota their very first gig together mm-hmm. and we all were able to come and see these last gigs right. and as happy as we were at those first ones we all have the same reaction it's a totally different band now it is a band can you talk about what point you guys noticed that you really gelled on stage as a brotherhood of, of musicians I got, I got this one <laughs> I did <laughs> it, it's, sometimes it's good in life to have a moment where you're you, 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 you learn something about somebody like what, you get a moment of adversity and it comes to you and it goes like this and what happens in that moment do you go like do you go like this or do you, you grow out like this? And we kind of, we had, we had like a little moment, right? Because all bands do. And, and through that, we didn't turn away from each other. We both grew, you know what I mean? I thought that was awesome, actually. And I think that's helped us, actually. That's funny. Yeah. When you, go, when you do like a tour like we did. Just stupid things happen, yeah. you know? Yeah. And, and you, you kind of go through like uh, some, even we basically- Max was there. Yeah. I mean. Paint our dues. Hey guys. Yeah, there were some dues over again. Rough we're, moments. Like we're 22, really, you know? Sure, you pull together and. Yeah. Um, we're reapplying for the job, as Bono once said when they were doing that in 2000. Sorry. No, 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 you're totally right. Exactly. All that, plus you pull together and you find the fun in, in every little sort of moment. It, that being on stage playing the music is where it's at. Yeah. And you pull together and then sort of, I think it shows. These songs mean a lot to everyone. Um, do they change their meaning for you as the years pass by? And what does 20 years mean to you? And what has this tour meant to each of you personally? Jeez, right. Oh my God. What? Um, you know, uh, yeah. Well, I like I was saying before, it was nice, it was nice to, um, there's like a group of folks, we have our crew people, we had, we had a band that we went out with, the Brad Ray band, and you know, they weren't here for these last few shows, but it was just really good to sort of bond together with a group of folks, go out on the road and like meet whatever came, like whatever was thrown at us each day, and just roll with it, and then get on stage that night and play, and I mean, that's what, you know, touring's all about. I haven't done it for a while. So it was, it was huge, actually, and like, it's just like you said, I mean, yeah, those, I, th- I think it was fun playing those shows early on, but after a couple weeks out on the road, and meet and like staying at the scary hotel or <laughs> playing at the scary club or whatever. Like is it you, surreal, you, like being back in that place again, like when you yeah. guys started out? Well, you know, I'm just grateful to be able to go out and, and meet people that, you know, tell me have, they've been waiting 20 years to hear this. And, you know, and it's just a really touching, it's been a very touching experience for me. I'm definitely very grateful for it. Is there anything last you would like to say to the fans before we sign up? Thank you so Thank much. You. Oh my <laughs> God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much from the excellent. All right.